Hello, I'm Stefan Nock and I lead Teva's specialty R&D department. I'm here to take you back over 100 years to tell the story of biopharmaceuticals, medicines that have the potential to deliver precise and personalized treatment. Let's get started. It's a story that begins in the 1890s when biologic medicines were first discovered. Two scientists living in Germany found that antitoxins derived from animals could cure people of diphtheria and tetanus, two diseases that had killed millions of people in the 19th century. The scientists also realized that these antitoxins made people immune from the disease in the first place. Fast forward to the 1980s and another major breakthrough. Scientists had learned to edit the DNA of individual cells, prompting the cells to create proteins that fight disease. The US approved this type of biologic medicine in 1982. The most famous example is insulin, which is used to treat people with type 1 diabetes. 1986 saw another jump forward when the first monoclonal antibody was approved. These laboratory produced molecules act as substitute antibodies, helping patients' immune system to target and fight diseased cells. Today's, these are the most common type of biological medicines. Moving into the 21st century, and scientists had also begun to develop biosimilars, highly similar versions of original biological medicines in an effort to make the drugs available to more people. Europe approved the first one in 2006, nine years before the biosimilar got the green light in America. The increased treatment option biologics offered meant that by 2014, seven of the top 10 best-selling medicines in Europe were biologics. Find out more about biopharmaceuticals, what the future holds, and meet the people who are leading the way at tevafarm.com slash biopharma.